colon cancer affects over 150,000 Americans and 25,000 Canadians every year. Understanding how this disease develops and spreads through your body could save your life. In this detailed 3D medical animation, we will explore the five stages of colorectal cancer, from the earliest cellular changes to advanced metastatic disease. Anatomy Overview Let us begin by examining the healthy cologne. The large intestine, or colon, is approximately six feet long and consists of several distinct layers. The innermost layer, called the mucosa, contains the cells where cancer typically begins. The submucosa lies beneath, followed by the muscle layer, and finally the serosa, the outermost protective covering. Stage 0, Carcinoma in SITU. Stage 0, also known as carcinoma in situ, represents the earliest form of colon cancer. Abnormal cells are found only in the innermost lining of the colon wall. These cells have not spread to nearby tissues. At this stage, the five-year survival rate approaches 100% when properly treated. Most stage 0 cancers are removed during colonoscopy procedures. Stage 1 Early Invasion In stage 1 colon cancer, malignant cells have grown through the mucosa and invaded the submucosa layer. The cancer may also extend into the muscle layer of the colon wall. However, it has not spread to nearby lymph nodes or distant sites. The five-year survival rate for stage 1 colon cancer exceeds 90% with appropriate surgical treatment. Stage to local spread. Stage to colon. Cancer has grown through the muscle layer and may have penetrated the serosa, the outermost layer of the colon wall. In some cases, the cancer extends into nearby organs or structures. Despite this local spread, stage to cancer has not yet reached the lymph nodes. The five-year survival rate ranges from 70 to 85 percent, depending on the specific substage. Stage 3, Lymph Node Involvement. Stage 3 represents a significant progression. The cancer has spread to one or more nearby lymph nodes. Regardless of how deeply it has grown into the colon wall, lymph nodes act as filters in your immune system, and their involvement indicates the cancer is beginning to spread beyond its original location. The five-year survival rate for stage 3 colon cancer is approximately 70%. Stage 4 Distant Metastasis Stage 4 is the most advanced form of colon cancer. The disease has spread to distant organs, most commonly the liver, lungs, or peritoneum. This process, called metastasis, occurs when cancer cells travel through the bloodstream or lymphatic system to establish new tumors in other parts of the body. The five-year survival rate for stage for colon cancer is approximately 14%. Warning signs and SYMPTOMS Early colon cancer often produces no symptoms, which is why regular screening is crucial. However, as the disease progresses, you may experience persistent changes in bowel habits, blood in your stool, abdominal pain or cramping unexplained weight loss, or persistent fatigue. Any of these symptoms warrant immediate medical evaluation, screening and prevention. The American Cancer Society recommends that adults at average risk begin colon cancer screening at age 45. Colonoscopy remains the gold standard, allowing doctors to detect and remove precancerous polyps before they become malignant. Other screening options include stool-based tests and CT colonography. Regular screening can prevent 60% of colon cancer deaths. Understanding colon cancer stages helps. You make informed decisions about your health. Early detection through regular screening offers the best chance for successful treatment and long-term survival. Consult your healthcare provider to determine the appropriate Screening schedule for your individual risk factors. This is educational content only. For any health concerns, please consult your doctor. Don't forget to subscribe.